A student emailed me after the June 2016 Regents. I can't believe I passed the Regents with a 68 after failing it six times. Thank you so much. I even cried. Couldn't believe it. So just in case you think you failed multiple times or you don't have enough time, you are mistaken. Okay, so let's get started here. On June, in the June 2017 Living Environment Regents, there was a question, a multiple choice, that had to do with the malaria vaccine. Now, when you see the word vaccine, it most likely has to do with way number 20. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the video for way number 20, and then we're going to come back and I'm going to show you how to answer the question correctly and quickly and confidently. Okay, so let's go to way number 20 on how to pass the living environment regions. Way number 20 on how to pass the living environment regions. A lot of students tend to think that a vaccine contains a little bit of the disease or a small amount of the virus. But when asked to describe what a vaccine is on three different living environment exams, the answer key specifically said not to accept these as answers. So what should you write instead? How about a dead or weakened pathogen that stimulates an immune response? Especially since that was pretty much the number one answer listed in those same answer keys. So make sure to specify the words dead or weakened pathogen in your answer when describing what a vaccine is. Okay, so that was way number 20 on how to pass the living environment regents. So what you're going to look for when you see the word vaccine is a weakened form of the disease uh, or, or the pathogen, a weakened, a dead or weakened pathogen. And in this case, it's choice uh, three here. Okay, that was a multiple choice question for one point. Uh, on the January 2017 living environment regions, they had a short answer question that also deals with vaccine. And they wanted to know why the contents of the vaccine usually do not cause people to get sick. Well, that's because it's a dead or weakened form of that pathogen. And as long as you write something along those lines, like a weakened pathogen, you get one point. Notice they say do not accept a little bit of the disease or a small amount of the virus. So that's one point for a multiple choice, one point for a short answer on two different exams, okay? And then, uh, by the way, they had a reading passage, a small one. You did not even need to read that to get that one point for the short answer, all right? Now, a little throwback, August 2015, two short answer questions dealing with way number 20. Identify the component of a vaccine that makes it effective. Again, just write that it has a weakened or dead pathogen in it, and you get that one point credit. Do not write those things. You will lose point. the point. And in 62, describe how a vaccination prevents disease in the individual who receives a vaccination. Well, it stimulates an immune response. So as long as you write something along those lines, you get one point. It activates the immune system or stimulates the production of antibodies. Those are both acceptable answers there. All right. And then that shows you how you get two points for short answer questions just from one video. And it had a reading passage that you didn't even need to read to answer those questions correctly. So my tip for you is this. Read the question first. See if you could answer it correctly. And if not, go back to the reading passage. There might be some information there to help you out. OK, so here, January 2014. Vaccine, you already know what the answer is. Is it a large amount of a live virus? No, it's going to be a dead or weakened form of the pathogen. And just to make sure, right, it's going to be choice two. Okay, how are you feeling right now? You like this? Knowledge, confidence, and even here, June 2015, question number 27. When getting a vaccination, which substance is injected into the body? Well, for sure, it's going to be a weakened form of a virus. It's the same repetition over and over and over again. I'm still not done. All right. A student emailed me. I watched one of your videos on YouTube. There was a question about what vaccine means in your video. And on 2016, it had the question you said. So it was great. I know it was reliable. And the question they were talking about on June 2016 was this one. A dead or weakened pathogen used to establish immunity would most likely be found in a vaccine. Do you get it? You get the point? And I'm still not done. August 2014, again, short answer question, question number 61 right there. Identify the substance in a vaccine that stimulates the immune system. So by now, you should know to write down a dead or weakened pathogen. And do not write a little bit of disease or a small amount of the virus.